Guys, 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 have you tried webhook triggers? Now, in an effort to make one of my automations more seamless, I looked into webhooks and this opened up a new dimension of possibilities. And let me show you what I mean. First, first, you're probably asking like, what is a webhook? Maybe you already know. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna tell you anyways. In the simplest terms, right, a webhook is like a URL that you can trigger and Triggering it will set off some actions in some systems. First try. In the context of like Home Assistant, right? Uh, when you hit a specific URL in Home Assistant, it will trigger an automation. Who oh, sorry, bro. So what do, what do I mean, right? What does that mean though? Let's say you have an iPhone and using the shortcuts app, you can trigger an, any automation in your Home Assistant based on any action that your device supports. For example, I have an automation that shuts off the lights, read my activities for the next day, sets the alarm and turns on music. All of this stuff gets triggered when I plug in my phone between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. And I must be home too. So originally, I set this trigger to watch when my phone was charging, but the Home Assistant app had to be on in order for it to update the state and for it to work, which was super impractical, very unreliable. It was trash. I hated it. However, however, uh, I got around this by using webhooks. Using the shortcuts app, my phone will call the webhook quietly whenever the phone is plugged in. Awesome. So I can trigger this webhook on any action in my phone. So for instance, I could text my wife goodnight and my phone could quietly trigger this automation. The possibilities are endless, like this is crazy. Home Assistant even allows you to accept payloads with the webhook data. You said that like it was supposed to mean something. Bro, you don't even know. Webhooks allow you to scale. If you don't know what I mean, especially with the Home Assistant, you can check out this video. Not only can we trigger automations beyond the traditional devices we have, like motion sensors, smart buttons, etc., but it also allows us to scale how we write our automations. What does that mean? You can create triggers that can pass information which tells Home Assistant what automations to run dynamically. This means you can use a single webhook to trigger different automations without having having new webhooks or new triggers within Home Assistant. This allows you to create a single ingress point for all your automations if you're looking for a systematic way of triggering your automations. But but do this at your own peril. I think this may be an anti-pattern for Home Assistant. Like, at least I think I read something like that somewhere. Not entirely sure. And it does possibly pose security risks maybe but you know it's your stuff do what you want i'm not telling you how to do your stuff you, like you do you if you're interested in seeing how i use the webhook for the goodnight automation that i was that i mentioned earlier uh, let me know in the comments and subscribe to get wait don't subscribe you guys subscribed way too much the last time stop it bottom line is this webhooks are more powerful than i originally thought and it may be something that you guys can look into because it allows for some creative ways to trigger automations it doesn't need to be solely triggered through an iphone though for my more experimentally inclined enthusiast you can technically trigger automations from a website based on any inclinations that you have for instance you can have an automation trigger whenever anyone lands on a specific web page or purchases an item from your online store as a matter of fact uh, you could pair this with if this then that which would open up even more possibilities for you guys so go try it out okay bye